This is the Hourplace AnyPan Pro Titanium Plied Pan. Now, the one thing about this pan, it has a spoon built into the handle. A lot of people have commented on this. Some people say it's functional, but when it comes to the functionality, it does have one thing that begs the question. Does this huge space in this pan create an issue when it comes to hot steam coming out the pan? I'll go ahead and answer that question and show you the results in this video. Now this pan was designed with a spoon holder and it has this little module that the spoon rests in. However, when you take this off, there is a huge space in here that you can see that this pan leaves for hot steam to escape out and it goes right over the handle where your hand sits. So I wanted to see if this was a problem. We tried the test with the pan in the default position when the spoon's removed, which leaves a really big space. Then we twisted the pan around to close that space. However, when you close the space, it still leaves a gap. And the question is, will steam still come out and affect your hand if it's on the handle? I set up a pot of boiling water to see how much steam would actually come out of that gap where the spoon sits on the pan. Now, as you can see, the steam is really coming out at about halfway of the handle. So you do not want to put your hand in there. You definitely would, would get a steam burn. Now, people would say, well, you could see the steam coming out of here. The point is, if you're busy in the kitchen, things are boiling, you go to grab something, not paying attention, you're gonna have a nice surprise. Now, this is wide open, and I can't, I can't even touch this over here to turn it. So I'm gonna turn this like so and show you that this gap is where the spoon is and is wide open. Now I'm gonna turn this so that the major gap, and it's kind of warm, is closed, and you can see it does cut down the steam quite a bit, although once we let it sit here, the steam is coming out over the handle. It's not as extreme as before, unless you grab the handle up here, which most people aren't gonna grab it probably all the way to the front. So definitely having that closed is key. But if you don't have it closed and you have it open, you'll see how that steam is just blowing right over the handle. We do have steam that leaks out of the side here as well. So this, the top does not seal, does move back and forth. So I think they could have done a little better job on the design with making this bevel a little bit tighter. The other thing is that this top is hot for sure and you definitely need a glove to go ahead and grab it. Now this is really hot right here and you wanna make sure you have a glove because that definitely is a hot top and you cannot touch this whatsoever. This is really super hot, would burn your hand. This steam coming out does go all the way up the handle about half to three quarters. So I would definitely not want to put my hand down on there, but we'll go ahead and demonstrate. Now that I put my protective glove on, if I grab this, you can see the steam is coming all the way up the handle and it's hot. I can actually feel this now penetrating through the glove and that's about as long as I can keep it. It's super, super hot. This is boiling water at 212 degrees and the mitt is actually pretty damp right now. Now I'm gonna switch the lid to one that I actually prefer and we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. This lid, of course, has the gap on the side because there's that cutout for that spoon. However, take a look at this lid. It is very beveled. It doesn't go back and forth at all. I mean, look at, look at this. There's no movement at all. So this lid actually fits better and it's about the same as the other lid. However, it's a much tighter lid. You can see that we're trapping in all that heat. We have everything here and it's not really leaking out any of the sides like the other lid. So I think this design is much better than the all stainless steel design, which is not as tight. Now, after a few minutes of this lid on, this slit is the lowest it can go, or the smallest it can go, and this heat is now coming out quite a bit on this. So I would say that it's reaching the, uh, probably a half an inch beyond this nodule. It's kind of hard to see in the picture, but the steam is coming to about right here. Again, if I grab like this, I can see the steam is hitting my hand. I can start to feel it. It's not as uh, pronounced as before, but it definitely is getting hotter as I hold this on here. So the steam definitely is coming out and is hitting my hand. There's no way for me to make this gap any smaller. This is the smallest gap that you can do. It's coming all the way out to about right here on the handle. And that is the result of the steam test using both the lid that comes with the pan and another lid that does not come with the pan.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this spoon holder and the space that it leaves on the top of this pan. Is it something you would consider in buying this pan? Would you buy it because of that or not buy it because of that? Let me know. I'd be curious to hear your comments and I respond to every comment that's respectful. So make sure to leave one and let's have a chat. Until the next time, smoke on baby!